Reverend Jake Zabe, and welcome to Children's Bible Stories. G'day children and welcome back to our special series children's Australian Christian stories. So for today's video, we're going to be doing the story of Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of the United Kingdom. And so you might be wondering, well, how is that an Australian Christian story? Well, because Queen Elizabeth was also the Queen of Australia. So Queen Elizabeth was the longest reigning monarch of the United Kingdom and she was a very faithful Christian. So on this video, we're going to discuss the life of Queen Elizabeth and particularly focus on her Christian faith. So when Queen Elizabeth was a little girl, nobody thought that she was going to be queen because her uncle, King Edward VIII, was the king of the United Kingdom. And so her father, was the younger brother, and so he wasn't going to be king. And so, for the first few years of her life, Elizabeth and her sister Margaret were princesses, but they were never going to inherit the throne. Now, one day, when Elizabeth was ten, her uncle, King Edward VIII, decided that he wasn't going to be king anymore. He abdicated the throne, and passed over his kingship to his brother, who now became King George VI. And from that point on, Elizabeth, the oldest daughter of King George, was now the next in line for the throne of the United Kingdom. Now, in 1939, when Elizabeth was 13, World War II began, and England used to get bombed by the Germans. This included Buckingham Palace. And so Elizabeth and her sister Margaret had to move out to the countryside so they were safe. In 1940, Elizabeth and her sister Margaret went on the BBC's Children Hour radio show in order to give a talk to let children know that God would keep them safe from the war. In that, Elizabeth declared that God will care for us. Now, when Elizabeth turned 18, she joined the Auxiliary Territorial Service and she became a mechanic for the military ambulances. And so Elizabeth became a very good mechanic at fixing cars, so much that the papers began to declare her the Auto Mechanic Princess. Now, in 1947, Elizabeth married her husband, Prince Philip. And while they were away on a trip in Kenya, her father, King George VI, died. <sighs> and so, at the age of 25, Elizabeth was now crowned Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. And like all British monarchs, Queen Elizabeth had to go through the coronation ceremony in which she was declared the Queen, not only of the United Kingdom, but of all the British Empire, including places like Australia. And also during this coronation, Elizabeth had to vow to be the defender of the faith, for she was not only the Queen of the country, but as the Queen of England, she is also the head of the Church of England, also known as the Anglican Church. And during the coronation ceremony, Elizabeth was given many precious gifts, such as the crown jewels, and a big staff, and a big golden orb. But most importantly, she was given her very own copy of the Bible, which was the most precious gift of all. 
And so from that point on, Elizabeth would reign over the United Kingdom as their queen and would go on to become the longest reigning monarch of the United Kingdom. That then is the political side of Elizabeth's life. As for her Christian faith, Elizabeth was a faithful Christian and every year she would have to get up before the country and give a Christmas address. And during these Christmas address, Elizabeth said many great and wonderful things about Jesus. For example, in 2014 she said, For me, the life of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, whose birth we celebrate today, is an inspiring and anchor to my life. And most importantly, during Queen Elizabeth's 2015 Christmas address, she declared that billions of people around the world follow Christ's teaching and find him to be the guiding light for their lives. And then she declared, I am one of them. Then, in the year of 2022, Queen Elizabeth II was taken from this life when she died of old age and has now passed on the throne to her son, King Charles III. The good news is, is that Queen Elizabeth, as she confessed, was a faithful follower of Jesus. And so now, even though she has left this life and given up her throne to her son, she has now entered eternal life where she gets to sit before the throne of her heavenly Lord and King, Jesus. And that's our video for today, children. I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye and God bless.